Hello students, welcome to in 5 minutes. So, next set of formulas which I am going to define now that are first is we know our general integration limits are from c to c plus 2 pi so which will be used for Fourier series. So I define c to c plus 2 pi sin mx into cos nx dx that is equal to 0. Second, again for same limits cos mx cos nx dx that is equal to you get as 0 if your m is not equal to n. When m is equal to n you will be getting as pi which you need to remember very well. Next is third c2 c plus 2 pi sin mx into sin nx dx that is equal to again 0 if your m is not equal to n if m is equal to n you get answer as pi so these are the formulas which are proved by using sin a cos b cos a cos b and sin a sin b formula now this first is zero for i can say all m comma n so this formula we will be using in trigonometric Fourier series now same formulas we can write it for value if i substitute value of c as pi so i say if i keep c equal to minus pi so i'll be getting a range of minus pi to pi so i define now same formulas that is i say first minus pi to pi cos nx dx that is equal to zero second is minus pi to pi sin nx dx is equal to zero third integration of minus pi to pi sin mx into cos nx dx is equal to zero that works for all m comma n fourth is minus pi to pi cos mx into cos nx dx that is equal to zero if my m is not equal to n if you say my m is equal to n your value will be pi so this are the change and fifth for minus pi to pi sin mx into sin nx dx that is equal to again we say zero if m is not equal to n if m is equal to n then you say that to be pi so these are formulas which we will be using in determining coefficients or you can say for solving sums thank you for watching in 5 minutes